All right, it's a Friday and time for our weekly tech feature called Tech Base. And tonight we're speaking to the developer of an app that allows people to report infestations of the tiny beetle that is killing South African trees. You'll remember earlier we brought you features on this beetle. We spoke to an academic involved in efforts to deal with the polyphagous shot hole borer. It bores holes into tree trunks and then spreads a fungus it carries with it that cuts off the system that transports water and nutrients, basically killing uh, the trees and it's impossible to tell how many trees have already died or will die. The app is called Tree Survey, the developer Hilton Fryer. Thank you for being with us, Hilton. Thanks, Francis. So, so when did this come into your consciousness, the polyphagous shot hole borer? It was probably uh, a year ago, exactly. Um, we lost a tree in our garden um, and it's relatively unusual for uh, a tree to die just uh, without any specific cause. Mm. Um, and at the point in time we didn't know uh, what was uh, the reason, but around uh, December we discovered that uh, another large tree uh, was uh, suffering. And that led to an inquiry which basically uh, uh, resulted in me reporting the problem to city parks in, uh, in January. And then how does this lead to the development of, of an app that's a whole new level? So it's almost, uh, um, it's rare that you find yourself in the middle of a, a, of a, of a problem at the very beginning. Um, and that's what I really find myself. Um, the information that was available uh, at that time was uh, very limited. And I went and put a lot of effort into inquiring as to what the nature of the problem was. Um, I wanted to uh, create a, a knowledge base that would uh, allow South Africans to understand what the problem was and to cut through a lot of the misinformation that existed at the time. Did, did you feel there was that misinformation and not many people doing anything about it? Absolutely. Uh, in January the service providers, uh, some of the arborists, um, they themselves were busy discovering uh, the nature of the problem and at that point in time um, it wasn't, uh, 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 there wasn't a clear understanding what the best uh, action was in terms of uh, treatment because uh, we ha only have local chemicals which haven't been tested for uh, this beetle. Mm. How serious is it to you if nothing is, is done? You know, nobody knows mm. how many trees will be killed. I've heard maybe half a million in, in Joburg, which is this mm. huge man-made forest. Uh, mm. Are you getting a picture of, of what's happening? We, we will lose a lot of trees and we will lose a lot of trees over numerous years. Um, some of the trees will, stu will suffer for, for, new for many years and then they will eventually die mm. because of uh, the, the starvation of the nutrients in the water. Um, some trees should be culled and removed because they are uh, considered reprodu uh, reproductive hosts for the beetle. Um, other trees, uh, some of the indigenous, indigenous trees will also uh, will die. And, and looking at, so I don't know if you're getting enough data yet from across the country, are you able to see sort of where this is happening? Um, are you getting an uptake uh, across the country? And, and what about farmlands even? Mm. And the pecan nuts, there's mm. been concerns about that? Mm. Well, absolutely. Uh, from agriculture, um, the various uh, uh, interest groups are uh, uh, watching the problem closely. However, within the country, uh, we need to understand where the beetle uh, uh, has spread. And um, it's through the, the gathering of information uh, via the app, which allows us to understand where the beetle is, mm. because uh, in many cases the public don't actually understand uh, uh, what the problem is. How, how do you get the app out there? Mm. Well, I, I don't know what sort of uptake you've had. Are, are people responding to what you've done? Absolutely. I mean, we've targeted uh, um, uh, residents associations, uh, the organization JUFA is uh, working very uh, closely with them, running co uh, practical uh, 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 tree walks to show the residents what the problem is. Um, we're engaging with uh, city parks, scout groups, residents associations, uh, um, estates, golf courses. These are the types of organizations which have got a member membership that can actually distribute the, the information appropriately. Mm. Uh, and this is a free app? Yeah. So how do people get it? They go to their App Store, iPlay, uh, uh, Google uh, Play or uh, iTunes and they just search for uh, Tree mm. Survey. Uh, they download it, um, they uh, register on the app and then uh, they literally uh, uh, either they, they log their tree which they think is infested by the beetle um, or they can select an app action that will allow us to then uh, uh, initiate a, a subsequent uh, 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 response either by the local city parks or by FABI or by uh, uh, local service providers. Mm. And, and now we heard from academics before uh, that uh, City Parks wasn't actually doing that much. The, the problem was people could 
notice this beetle in their garden, but then what do you do? Who comes and cuts down the tree? Where, where do you take it to? Is there, being a, uh, is there a better response from local authorities now? Look, the, the institutions are responding, however, um, they are moving slowly and we need to uh, 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 increase the, the public uh, uh, information uh, and uh, heighten the awareness of the problem. Um, they are putting out uh, communications but we haven't necessarily seen results in terms of uh, some of the tangible uh, 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 responses like uh, the creation of dedicated dumping sites. Mm. So, so let's stop here. Um, this is from the website Tree Survey, but you, behind you you'll see, uh, I think that's a representation of the app and you've got six sort of options there. Run mm. us through what you can do. Okay, so um, uh, the top action uh, number one allows you to uh, just simply submit the, uh, 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 a tree uh, to the, the, our centralized database, um, which will allow us to then represent that on a national level uh, where uh, the, the infestations are. Um, the second uh, yellow option um, is when you, uh, you suspect you have a problem and you're actually requesting help from a service provider. Um, number three is uh, uh, a special uh, set of uh, um, submission that goes to FABI, where they would then engage uh, with uh, uh, the individual and do uh, specific uh, uh, genetic sequencing. And, and that one's typically to identify and verify that it is uh, the, the, the shot hole borer in a genus of a tree in an area that's not previously known about in the country. Okay. Um, number four is, is, is very relevant. So that's uh, uh, notifying city parks that uh, there's a dead tree that uh, needs to be removed. Because if the tree is not removed, these be beetles uh, continue to grow and then they fly and then they uh, infest uh, the surrounding area. I so didn't know that, that they actually fly from they fly. tree to tree. And, 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 and one, lo uh, one large tree uh, could have literally hundreds of thousands of beetles sure. that will then uh, emerge and then uh, uh, attack the, the other trees. Okay, five and six? So five and six is, um, we realize that uh, City Parks is going to have uh, capacity problems. Um, they're also going to have budgetary constraints. Um, those are options that we've uh, uh, proposed that uh, City Parks can then provide permission uh, for a resident to, uh, at their own expense, remove a tree or to treat a tree. Now, city parks' is mandate is to look after public trees, so they need to uh, have uh, uh, ownership and control over that decision. Sure. So this is a way that we can allow uh, uh, private residents to actually become a part of the, prob uh, the solution. So, so this is far-reaching. You're sort of uh, encouraging activism or volunteering. Tourism. Absolutely. So uh, this is really like a public-private participation in a way that we can provide a mouthpiece to, uh, uh, to the public and we can actually provide uh, a platform whereby the institutions can actually uh, help uh, 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 deal with the problem um, when they might not previously have uh, a way to do it. Mm. And, and what we're seeing now, I think, is sort of the general information you're putting out on tree survey, so video information, so people can go to tree survey and get sort of a general overview of, of what this is all about. Absolutely. Um, who's helping you? So um, I, uh, in April, I, I looked for a, a platform that would be able to uh, rapidly deploy uh, a solution that would uh, help solve the problem. And um, I got in touch with uh, someone called Tian Janse van Rensburg, who's the, the CEO of Solution House Software. Mm. And he runs, a, um, he runs a, 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 a software called My Incident Desk. We were able to uh, deploy a new inci 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 incident mm -hmm. of uh, this uh, platform and then uh, implement their mobile app um, that was specifically designed for tr uh, tree survey and for reporting the beetle. So you're backing off technology that's, that's there? Absolutely. You can't reinvent a wheel right now. You need to go with uh, a leading uh, solution provider yeah. um, and then uh, deploy it for the specific purpose. And do you have a data science consultancy, a heuristic guru, uh, anything you doing feeding into this or is this a complete side project for, for you? Um, it's, it's taken a lot of my time since uh, January, um, but it's driven by my, my desire to be a part of uh, uh, fast-tracking um, the, the national response. Mm. I believe that the quicker we can actually get uh, 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 appropriate people involved, we can then minimize the impact of the problem. Um, uh, my, my, my expertise in data naturally comes to the way I try to solve this problem through the development of systems and through uh, trying to connect data 
uh, to f enable uh, uh, an improved outcome. Mm. And, and is it rewarding? I mean, we talk about in this country, Tuma Mida, um, get involved. You are doing that. Absolutely. Um, it's wonderful to uh, walk through the streets to meet residents. Uh, the councillors have become involved uh, uh, to literally actually uh, be part of the community. Um, and we're hoping we can uh, develop a model that will allow us to scale that because whilst we are pioneering a lot of what we're doing in Johannesburg, this is a national problem. Um, and we need to re repeat it in Durban, Peter Maritzburg, George, mm -hmm. Neisner, Stellenbosch, Cape Town. The, the beetle bringing people together, in fact. Exactly. <laughs> so, so looking at the data, I don't know how much you have now. Can you give us any idea? Are, are you getting a sense of areas affected, maybe even if it's just in Johannesburg right now, but are we building that sort of map of, of the country? For sure. So the, the, the launch of the app, which we did uh, essentially on Spring Day, uh, resulted in uh, 300 people immediately registering on the app. They've all been submitting uh, their reports. Uh, the reports is literally uh, allows you to have a geolocated geo uh, 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 incident mm. which is then accompanied by photographs. Um, we encourage people to take photographs so that we can actually verify if it is the, the shot hole borer. And the maps that we have of the country show a distribution that is uh, aligned with what we are expecting. But we need to penetrate into uh, some of the, uh, uh, the communities that don't know about the problem because if it exists there, they need to then start reporting it and then it will start appearing on our, uh, uh, our visualizations. And, and presumably you can release those visualizations, eventually we can all see exactly where this shot hole bore is active. Well that's the point, so we, we, we sit on a, a, a steering committee that's run by the Department of Agriculture, Fisheries and Forestries and um, they are uh, they're interested in trying to uh, identify uh, ways to uh, uh, respond to the problem and to also uh, know where the problem exists within the country. Mm. So finally your, your message, I guess if you have a, a sick looking tree, this help, app can help you. Um, go, to, uh, go to the websites, uh, uh, try and uh, identify what the problem is. Uh, uh, don't wait for your tree to die before you actually then uh, realize what the problem mm. is. All right, thank you so much. Very interesting and uh, great activism, I think, by one individual creating a snowball effect. That was Hilton Fryer, the developer of an app to report infestations of the shot hole borer. Uh, like he said, it is free and available online. It's called Tree Survey. Now, remember to